I am stepping out of my studio for a moment. First of all, because it's a lovely day. And secondly, because it's a special day for us here in Newport, Vermont. Because exactly two years ago, we closed on this house and we moved in. It was a crisp, slightly cold morning. There was snow on the ground. I remember it like yesterday. And we're just so happy to be here. We couldn't believe our luck. For the first time in our lives, we really felt this is the place we want to grow old and spend with each other, my wife and I, being surrounded by gorgeous nature and quietude <laughs> most of the time. Although now it's hunting season and uh, we hear some people <sighs> doing some practice rounds. But you know, it's just been amazing. And I wish I could take all of you here for a little tour. The only thing I can do is just put my phone on a uh, selfie stick and show you around a little bit. This is kind of our backyard. You see those line there, lines there in the back connecting the trees? Those are the tap lines. We uh, make our own maple syrup while we have someone else do it for us. And it's the most delicious maple syrup you've ever tasted, of course. Not too sweet but gold and amber colored, which is perfect with pancakes. And I woke up this morning and it was light again because we just switched to daylight uh, savings time. And I had gotten used to waking up when everything was dark, but it was light, it was bright, the mist was clearing up around the house. It was just so serene, so peaceful. And I think if there are two words that really summarize our experience here is those are the words, serene and peaceful. I've never been as much as peace as I'm here. Because life is a little bit slower, which at my age, I just turned 60 this year, is a bonus. And I think the people, maybe it's just my perception, but the people seem to be kinder to each other. They take the time to stop and talk. Like yesterday, we went to uh, the local high school. They had a performance of Matilda the Musical, which was phenomenal, by the way. I was so impressed by the kids. And uh, before that, we, we spent an hour in town running some errands, and we spoke with everyone in the stores. And we told them, because I was going to buy a bottle of bubbly, so we went to the health food store to buy some uh, Prosecco. <laughs> and... Uh, we told the, the clerk what we had to celebrate and they were so excited that we loved it here and they started talking about what we love about this place and it's had this connection now. I don't know if you can see this, but here this window below. <laughs> that used to be my studio. That's now my wife's music studio. We completely demolished the basement and uh, started all over. Now we have a space that accommodates uh, eight, nine, ten pianos, I believe. Yes, we have nine digital pianos and one grand. And she teaches group classes here. And she started really with nothing because there was nothing on offer here in our area in terms of piano and flute lessons. And she started from the ground up. We didn't really know anybody. We got to know our neighbors. And they became our friends and our helpers. And they opened up the area for us. And my wife Pam has done an amazing job building her studio from the ground up, based on the online students that she already had. She never lost a single one of them. And uh, I'll walk you back to my studio in a moment. As you can see, our lovely little house on the hill. My wife loves this song, it's called People Who Live on the Hill. I believe that's the, that's the title of the song, and that's us. We live on the hill. When we had flooding in Vermont, we were fine, because our house is built up high, see? I also love the color. Green is my favorite color. And when I saw this house for the first time, I knew it was going to be ours. <laughs> I was so incredibly happy because I knew our long search was over. We've looked at so many houses in the scope of six months, all during COVID. We uh, visited most of them online with a realtor. So we did, really, did not really get a sense of the house until we saw it. And this house we, we bought 
kind of unseen. We just saw it online with a little tour and that was it. We didn't know much about Newport, about the surrounding area. And, and we made the perfect choice because all those houses that we bid on, there's one of the cars just speeding by, yeah. All the houses that we bid on, we were quite disappointed that we didn't get it until we got this house and then we knew why we lost that bid. We were meant to lose it because it wasn't meant to be for us. Something much better was waiting ahead of us. So let me just jump over this ditch here. We have a little ditch. Ah, when we came literally this, this asphalt driveway was just a gravel driveway. Not much to going for it. My gosh, I'm losing breath. What's going on? <laughs> but I have a solution for that, which I'll show you this week. Because I bought something on a, an amazing Amazon sale. And uh, <laughs> that's coming up. Um, that's being delivered on Wednesday. Anyway, let me walk you to my studio barn. Ah, there it is. Such a lovely thing. But, you know, often... When you as a, as a creative freelancer, or when you're bidding on jobs, you really hope that this is going to be the next big thing for you, right? That you're going to win that job and then you don't get it, then you're so disappointed. But you don't know what's ahead of you. The same thing with our house. We were so disappointed every time our bid was rejected. But we knew after the fact why it was rejected, because it just wasn't meant to be. We didn't know enough about the market, about the circumstances, and... Uh, because all these rejections happened to us, this is what we ended up with. The most lovely house in the world, to us at least. The house where we are happy. And that's what we're celebrating today. Two years in this lovely place we call home. So enjoy the sights and I hope to see you very soon.